years ago, Marilyn Bergeron disappeared. She was 24 years old at the time and had just spent 24 hours with her parents in the Quebec City area. Well, today, her family is making another plea for any leads. And Tanya, they're still holding out hope that Marilyn is out there somewhere, and there's a new reward now, right? Yes, uh, Caroline. Marilyn's mother says nine years without any news from her daughter has been unbearable. But she is convinced somewhere, somewhere knows something. And while the police case is still open, there haven't been any fresh leads. So the family has decided to up the reward to $30,000, thanks to anonymous donors, and has hired a lawyer, Marc Belmar, who's also a former justice minister, who will take calls from the public. And as you mentioned, Caroline, Marilyn disappeared nine years ago. She lived in Montreal, but had just moved back with her parents in the Quebec City region when she went missing. Her mother says Marilyn had told her that something was wrong, that she didn't feel safe in her apartment in Montreal, but she never told her mother what it was. At one point, though, her mother says she asked her daughter if she'd been assaulted. Marilyn bowed her head and cried. The 24-year-old was last seen February 17, 2008. Surveillance video shows her trying to withdraw cash from an ATM. She was then spotted at a coffee shop. Today, her mother made a plea to anyone with any information to come forward, especially Marilyn's friends, co-workers in Montreal, convinced that they know something. But she also had a message for her daughter, if she's listening. On t'aime, on t'attend à bras ouverts, et tu nous manques tellement. We are waiting for you with open arms, and we miss you so, so much. Marc Belmar is the lawyer who will be fielding the calls from the public, and he believes some people may be too afraid to speak to the police, but that they may be willing to speak to him, and all information is confidential. It's all confidential. If somebody tells me that uh, Marilyn is there, we can find her, dead or alive, they will get the money. That's all. I'm not the police. That doesn't mean that we cannot talk together, but it's strictly confidential. All the family wants, of course, Caroline, is to find their daughter to know what happened to her, looking for the answers. All right, tough situation. Thank you very much, Tanya. That's Tanya Kriviak reporting on a missing woman up in the newsroom.